In this video, we'll go over importing loops and how to use them. And then we're also going to go through how to delete your imported samples and then how to optimize. First thing you're going to do is connect to the computer through USB. The best way to do this is to make sure you are upgraded on your firmware for the Roland to 1.02 or higher. Then make sure you're plugged into the TR-8 first and then when you plug into the computer make sure you hold shift first. Hold shift, plug it in the correct way and it'll go into storage mode. Once it has gone into storage mode you can let go of shift. Now, on the computer You can see TR8S has popped up. Open it up. Go down to the side. Open the folders until you see sample. Yours could be empty, yours could have some in it. If you've already gotten into this and been importing samples and know what you're doing, you'll see it in there. And loops. Find your loops. This is music loops. We'll do the piano. Oops. Sorry. Do the piano. And down to here. And then drag it into the sample folder. Once they're all imported, eject your drive the way your operating system recommends and then unplug your USB come out of storage mode and then you will go to utility you'll go to the sample category import since we did files, the source is going to be a file, not a folder. If you watch the other import video, I did it by folder. So by file, and you can pick the individual file you'd like to do. It will scroll for a full description, but it is best to name your samples in the computer first, in the shortest way possible, for easier recognition when scrolling. Anyway, we'll do piano. Make sure before you hit enter, oh, we're importing, I apologize. Enter, we'll import it. Importing by files is a slower process. Only do this if you're only bringing in a couple samples. If you're gonna bring in a lot of samples at once, I recommend using the folder process. So, the sample is now imported, and we want to put it on a channel. We'll go ahead and put it on here. And we'll see, I think there's already something on there as it is. Sample. Let's play piano. We'll go back, if you hold shift, and go through. It'll go through categories quicker and get you to the beginning. Counterclockwise will take you back to the beginning to import that's my only import so I have that as imported on the RC channel you can now push sample again and it is here so we should get sound on this now so if you want the sample or loop to play its full length be sure to turn your decay all the way up Otherwise, it will fade out or it will not complete the loop. That's what you get for that. Now, if you were to bring your decay down, it'll shorten your loop. A way to 
fire off quicker samples of it if you want. Also remember you can motion record that. So you could do this, get your sample playing, you're gonna have to forgive me, okay. So I have a pattern already made with it. You can almost keep it like a delay. Anyway, that is how you would use it if you want. Remember, if you want it to go the full length, bring the decay up. Now, deleting samples. Again, utility. You're just on import, so you head over to delete. You're going to delete it. It tells you how many samples you have, user samples, and how many you've selected. Each time you hit enter, It'll give you a check mark and let you know you've marked it and then you can scroll to the next one. This is only one, so we're gonna go delete. Enter. You sure? Enter. Now it's gone. So it won't be under instrument or sample. It's empty and it starts off with the presets. That's how you do that. After enough deleting and importing of samples, you should go to optimize. Enter. It will tell you how much space is free within the internal memory and how much of it has been fragmented. If you've just cleared all your samples out you should get a 0% but if you import multiple times and then delete individual files here and there it will become fragmented. Optimize when you get I wouldn't go above 5% if it's around there, I would optimize. You'll definitely see a better performance out of your unit. So optimize OK. Warning, if you have a big percentage fragmented, it could take 10 to 20 minutes. Don't do this if you got something else to do. Do it when you have nothing to do. This was empty, so optimizing would be quick. That's how you import loops. Use them. Delete the user samples and how you optimize your user sample memory. Thanks for watching.